Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai, Rakata Yahawa, Rakata Yahawa Shai. Call Halal La Yahawa Bashimi Hawa Shai. That's Hebrew. Interpret, bless Yahawa, bless Yahawa Shai. All praises to the Father Yahawa in the name of the Son Yahawa Shai. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful, hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word of sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, this is going to be a quick video. And a uh, brother sent me this video. And it's, it's, it's just fucking crazy, man. All right. Now, as you see on the title, it says Alicia Keys says four year old son can paint his nails. We all have masculinity and feminine energy. All right, I believe that's the end of the title. Yeah, feminine energy. And, um, you know, it just proves the fact that we are in the last days, all right? Because um, the people here in the world, you know, you Jakes, you so-called Negroes, all right? You Latinos, Native Seminole Indians, you know, Esau has, has you, know, you know, basically changed your tradition. You know, he have a lot, he have basically pushed upon you his his uh, Greek and Roman um, Greek Roman philosophies, man, and uh, tradition, which is homosexuality. All right, and uh, you know Jake swallow it all up because they think that you know this is the new thing. You know, and and I and I could see this woman Alicia Keys doing it because she's on a a level of a sellout. You know, a, a high level sellout, you know, who basically, you know, sold her soul. You know, I believe her husband is Swiss Beats, Rough Riders, uh, what you call it, DJ, you know, whatever he is, producer, you know, which made, you know, made a lot of hot songs and all that. And I believe this is his son with Alicia Keys, if I'm not mistaken. And um, I wonder what he has to say, because he's supposedly uh, supposed to be from the hood, keep it real, you know, but... In this day and age, these, you know, people today are, are accepting homosexuality behavior, you know, and, and, and guess what? It's going to lead to your destruction because if you have not learned, you know, the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and made it, an, made it an, an example, you know, for any other kingdom that shall live ungodly, man, you know, and now this woman, which is, of course, you know, a four-year-old kid. And she's explaining how he just came up with this. I want to paint my own nails. I'm going to play a little bit of the video. Today, I went to the nail salon with Genesis. He's in the chair. And he's like, I want rainbow. So he tells the lady that he wants rainbow colors on his, on his nails. And she brings all of these colors and she paints each nail a different color. And after he painted his nails, he looked at me and said, Mommy, I don't want this on my nails. And I was like, why? You were so sure you're good. And he was like, people are not going to like it. Can you believe this? Four years old. He's four. And he already understands the concept that someone's going to judge him because he chose rainbow color on his nails. And I told him, why? Nobody's going to judge it. They're going to love it. It's so cool. Like, look how creative you are. Look how amazing you had this idea. Stick with it. You chose it. You liked it. And that's because the four-year-old kid knew that it's wrong for a boy to be doing what women do his spirit knows that it's wrong but be, but because he's being taught all right you know i'm pretty sure he go to a prestigious private school you know he's hip into the uh society they probably let him watch all them fucking cartoons and movies little kids shit so of course he know rainbow you know let me get some rainbow uh colors on my nails and then he feel bad about it you know, that's, the, that's what happens with um, these uh, men, especially the men, all right, you know, that that are go, that, that go homo, you know, that's the homosexuals. In the very beginning, you know, they, they know it's wrong, so they're not uh, happy about, you know, how people judge them. People, you know, you guys that are, are homosexual, you are judged because it's wrong. That's why it's a it's a wrong, you know, there's a wrong and there's a right, you know, that's why you are judged because it's wrong. And because man wants to uh, decide that 
that's not wrong, then we supposed to go along with it? I don't think so. You know? I'll just play a little bit more and I'll grab some scriptures. You do it. Who cares what anybody else says? And so I said, plus, you know, a lot of guys paint their nails. This is not like some strange thing that you only do. He was like, really? I was like, yeah. So many, so many. And that made him feel better. But it's... And see, they play on the psychology, which is the ideology, you know, of uh, your thoughts and your ways. You know, because there's rappers like Snoop Dogg that are paint his nails and get fake nails. But that's all feminine. That shit not cool, all right? The Most High didn't make a man to be a woman or a woman to be a man. He made a woman to be a woman and a man a man. And point blank, period, a man is not supposed to do what women do. Just like it's written in the law that a man shall not put on women's clothing and women shall not put on man's garment, all right? Because who are you, the creator? You know? Matter of fact, let me get the pre precepts. You know, first off, I want to read um, this right here. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. It says, Know therefore that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. Be not deceived. Neither fornicator, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. All right? And, and the main thing there that we're speaking on is effeminate. All right? going to that strong g3120 malakas malakas oh it, it says um soft soft to the touch let's see in the bad sense effeminate it says, of a boy kept for homosexual relation. I can't see. It's like you driving. Let me uh, make this turn so I can. So I can. It says, a boy kept for homosexual relations with a man. You see? You see? <laughs> Effeminate, man. Homosexuality, man. A, a woman lying down with woman and a man lying down with man it is wrong you will not enter into the kingdom of the most high all right which is going to be here on earth soon when the lord destroy you edomites man and, and your power system all right in the image okay of the beast which is your system man it says a male prostitute look at that man it says of a male who submits his body to unnatural lewdness man look at this man you see so let me read it again it says first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 know ye not that the unrighteous shall excuse me know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of yahweh be not deceived meaning yeah don't 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 deceive yourself you know alicia keys teaching her son to be effeminate to be a, a, a homo man hey your son ain't gonna make it man okay it says, shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh, be not deceived, neither fornicators, all right, which is adultery, okay, nor idolaters, which is you idol worshiping, like most people idol worship her, you know, and she down with the witchcraft, you know, you see how when she first came out, she, it was, uh, you see the natural, the, the natural spirit in her, you know, of her love to sing, I mean, her love, to, yeah, her love to sing. And then all of a sudden, when this shit got demonic, you know, her videos and and then and uh, what her shows became dark, you know, just like the rest of them, all of them, all of these singers, you know, when they some of them when they came out before the the time where they they uh, forced all of these celebrities to go dark, you know, and do their rituals and their concerts, you know, you know, you you can see there was uh, the the sincerity love of singing. And, and, and uh, you know, and, and the messages and the songs. But now, you know, they wearing all black, you know, looking demonic, like a damn demon. Then they, you know, they chanting demons. You know, they got the world uh, that, that idol worship them, worshiping demons, man. So it says, 
an adult, no adulteress, all right, which is a woman laying down with uh, multiple men. You're an adulterer, man. It says, and a man laying down also with uh, other men, uh, women. You're an adulterer. It says, nor effeminate, nor abusers of mankind, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Because you're not supposed to be, uh, you know, scriptures say use the world, but don't abuse the world. All right. And today, this world, Esau is pushing uh, wrong is right and right is wrong. Okay. You know, people justifying wickedness like she is. She's justifying uh, her son that it's okay to uh, be effeminate. The title is that, you know, men have uh, masculine energy and uh, feminine energy. Hey, the only reason why a man would have feminine energy is because he raised up his mother. You know, scriptures say a man born of a woman is a few days and full of trouble. You're supposed to have your father in your life, man. And as a child, you being pampered and baby by your mother, when you turn 12, look, man, if you around your pops, you had your pops or, big, or brothers, you know, then what? You, 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 that shit, that spirit of leave, man. That, it, that's exactly why these niggas are, uh, are locked up now in jail, man, because of uh, being emotional, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you tell the dude, you know, nah, I can't give you a ride. The nigga, the nigga, the nigga hates you, man. <laughs> you know, nigga asked for a ride. He'd be like, I can't do it right now. I got to bust some moves. And he like, all right. The next thing you know, he starts shading you. You know, he, he really talking about you behind your back. That, that's being emotional, man. You know, you, you can't even say no to these niggas, you know? But, hey, it, it just proves that, you know, we're in that time, man. All right? When the Lord is going to uh, judge this place. It says, nor thieves, nor covetants, nor drunkards, drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. All right, so from here, I want to go into um, uh, Romans 1. And brothers know what this is. This is Romans chapter 1. And um, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll start at 22. Lock you. All right. Now it says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Exactly, because Alicia Keys, she thinks she wise. You know, you know, and, and that's another thing. You know, women. You know, you supposed to love your children, but when you have a boy, you know, you supposed to show a little bit of, uh, you know, not all that 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 baby shit, man. Too much, man. What well, depends on the age of the child, because women, you know, that do love their children, I'll say that. You know that that want to be in their child. They want to take care of their child. You know, with a boy. You know that's why scriptures say a woman can't raise a man. You know, a man can raise a a, a a a a son and a daughter, but a mother can only raise a daughter. You know. Anyway, it says uh, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools, because to get on here on this damn YouTube and to talk about, you know, uh, he's four years old and he wanted to paint his nails and you trying to tell him that it's okay and he's feeling like other people ain't gonna like it you know and justifying wickedness you a fool man you know it says um and change the glory of the uncorruptible god into the image made like made like a corruptible man and to the birds and to the four-footed beasts and the creepy things exactly okay because mm -hmm. you know you making the most high which is perfect and created us imperfect, you know, created us to be perfect. Well, created us uh, in our natural nature structure is perfect. The body, the male, the female, you know, two hands, two eyes, being able to eat, live, live certain ages, you know, live to certain ages. You know, the most high didn't corrupt the body. The only thing the Lord did, you know, he, he uh, gave us a stony heart, you know, in which the Lord is going to remove in the second covenant. All right. And make us uh, one uh, uh, with the spirit because right now it's the spirit versus the flesh. All right. There's a war going on, you know, within you, you know, and as the apostles uh, would say, you know, Apostle Gabar, he uh, uh, stated this long time ago that, you know, your, your biggest enemy is yourself, man, because you have to war against your flesh. Your spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So you might get these temptations. You might get these desires or lusts. But, but if it's if it's bad lust, you gotta fight it off. You gotta say no. You gotta sacrifice, man. 
So anyway, it says, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into the image, into an image made like un, made like to corruptible man, to the birds, to the four-footed beasts and creepy things. Wherefore, the Most High also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves, man. All right. So the Lord is allowing, you know, when well, I say allowing, but the Most High gave you up to your own lust, man. And right now, while this, her, her son is four years old, you know, she is teaching him that it's okay to have feminine, to be feminine, you know, and it's not okay. It's not. It's not okay, man. It's going to lead to your destruction, man. You know, all of these celebrities' kids are going homo, man. Look at, uh, uh, what you call it, uh, uh, D Wade, man. You know, D Wade. And, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, I forgot his wife's name. The movie actor. She got her son, uh, as her man. She got her son as if he's a girl, man. You know, and this is a masculine man. Swiss Beats is a masculine man. The father is. Well, so it seems. <laughs> you know, D Wade, ball player, athlete, masculine. You know. And but but their their kids are feminine. You know, and I'm talking about the males. Shit is crazy, all right? But um, it says, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worship and serve the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever to walk? Because who changed the truth of the Most High to a lie? Who said it was okay that uh, it was okay for a man to uh, lay down with a man and a woman to lay down with a woman? Who said that? Who? All it says today is nothing but the Greek and Roman uh, uh, traditions, you know, which they always practice because Esau is a, a a homosexual by nature. Okay, you know, they have no rules. These are heathens. Okay, matter of fact, they're the sons of the wicked, and they're ruling over the whole earth right now. All right, until the Lord come and take them out of power. So it says, "Who changed the truth of God into a lie?" Who? And worship and serve the creature more than the creator who was blessed forever to walk. For this cause, God gave them up to, to a, unto a vow affection. For even their woman did change the natural use into that which is against nature. So not only the men, but the women as well. It says, and likewise also the men leaving the natural use of a woman, right? Burn in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat all right because at the end of the day you know the lord is going to judge you man all right you could get mad at man and you could try to you know make man stop using certain words that's the, that's shit, that shit is ridiculous man you know you're not allowed to say a certain word it's a crime to say a certain word get the f Man, get your asses out of here, man. Y'all people are out of your damn mind. Allowing this shit to be, man. But this the way the Lord uh, uh, is, is, is uh, 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 letting it go because this is a wicked work. This is a wicked kingdom. Look who's ruling. This place got to go, man. Scriptures say this place is going to wax worse, man. Shit is fucking ridiculous, man. And it's the shit, you know, you deal with every day being a man of the Lord, man. You come across shit like this and it and it it, it uh it it uh, uh vexes your spirit, man. You know? Let me get this scripture and I end it with that. I end it with this one, which is uh Jude, Jude chapter one and verse seven. It says, Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication. We just read What's that? First Corinthians six and nine, that a fornicator shall not inherit the kingdom. Okay, it says giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh. So this is strange flesh. So you're raising your son, you know, as if he was an Edomite. You know, and that's and that's the cause of wanting to live that lifestyle like like Esau. You know, here it is. You got money. You know, you eating the finer things. You you living this luxurious life. You know, you got you got a, a nice home. You, you you know, you're living in the suburbs and, you know, you start living around Esau. 
you know, you start to want to, you know, be accepted by Esau, you know, you go into his diners, his, his, uh, you see how they services ran, you know, you got to kind of fix yourself, you know, and you, how they talk, how they walk, how they, uh, persona is you, you know, you, you got to change, you know, you changes your persona to, to, you know, to, to fit in to, so that you can be considered, you know, a well taught, uh, servant, man, <laughs> you know, that's what you are anyway, you know? well mannered you know you the way you eat a certain way the way you talk a certain way you know and, and it's all uh, uh uh striving to uh to mimic esau so your ways is you know is changed you know and especially if you've been rich for a while you know everything you do is is of esau man you know, Jake's supposed to be uh, uh, wealthy and, and rich because we are the kings and, prin and uh, pr uh, princesses. You know, you got you got the men, the men of the Lord. You know, the elect. The matter of fact, the uh, Yasha Allah, he prince power. The, all right, the, the men of the Lord are the princes of the Most High. We supposed to be royalty. Yeah, and Jake supposed to carry himself royalty when you have certain riches and things like that. You know, but but instead of you being yourself, and 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 you know. Uh, having that spirit the Lord gave you as an Israelite, you know, besides that, you want to, you don't want to be yourself because you're not accepted. You got to be like them. So what happens? You start to teach your children the way their children are taught because you don't want to look like the eyeball. You know, your kid going to school amongst the Edomites and, you know, their kids is out of this fucking world, man. You know, and they start rubbing off on your child and then you thinking that, oh, you're not supposed to be segregated. Oh, that's racist. Oh, uh, you know, you know, we can't can't be like that. You got to have compassion. Well, Jake always have compassion. Did not a few months ago uh, show you Jake's compassion, stupidity when the you know, I'll say that was the highlight of this whole year, you know, besides other things. But, you know, Jake uh, hugging uh, the bro, the, the Jake uh, hugging the cop woman was her name, uh, Amber Geiger. You know, she went in there and killed that boy's brother in his own home. And, you know, when it's when she's put in a position to be judged, Jake shows compassion. But none of these either might show compassion when it comes to, uh, uh, you know, Jake in that situation. You know, it's amazing, man. It's amazing how the Lord have dumbed down uh, you Israelites, man. You have now become a degenerate, man. You know, this is that third and fourth generation that hate the Lord. And, and that's why the Lord said uh, uh, he's going to uh, number you to that sword, man. So let me uh, finish reading. It says, Jude 1 and 7, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise, also these filthy dreamers and uh, filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion and speak evil of dignities. So you're nothing but filthy dreamers, man. You know, that shit is crazy. A filthy dreamer, man. And, and in all reality, it's a mental illness, man. When a woman walking down the street with purple hair, blonde hair, an Israelite woman, when an Israelite woman is walking down the street with purple hair, blonde hair, all red hair she has a mental illness man okay when a man is walking down the street and a woman and a woman is walking down the street and she's dressed in the attire of a man a man is dressed in the attire of a woman that is a mental illness they have a a, a problem upstairs in their head man straight up <laughs> you know this is life ain't about your feelings you can listen life is not about feelings there's one there's a part of life where you, you know your feelings play a part but that doesn't determine you know uh life or death with feelings you know this world is cold man you know when when the uh uh what the scriptures say the uh the valley of the shadow of death man this is a well those who are here in north america because you can die from anything man and and because your feelings are uh, uh, contrary of whatever it was does not uh, determine your life and death, you know, because how you feel. So, listen, man, 
uh, all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, man. May the Lord, uh, you know, destroy this place, man. Destroy this society and, and, and bring up Jacob. May Yahweh Shah return, man, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. You guys is going to realize when turmoil starts to set forth, the pestilence is start to come closer. All right. The Lord starts sending his plagues, fulfilling prophecy, the force of the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. When it gets more harder to live, you know, go back and forth to work, get groceries and things. When people are talking at the jobs, how, you know, you know, this is crazy. What's going on? You know, that's it, man. That's it, man. You know, that's it. The doors of repentance are closing, you know, and the Lord is just going to destroy you people, man. That's when you're going to realize and say, well, damn, you know, what have I done? You know, did I do good or do I know the Lord? You know, because right now life is a joke for most of you people, man. You take it as a joke and you take situations like this uh, lightly. This is not supposed to be done lightly, man. You know, so I hope that this lesson was edifying. I want to speak on it. Like I said, in the beginning, the brother sent me this video. And, um, you know, now Alicia Key's son is headed down the path of, you know, being a filthy dreamer. I should say, you know, because uh, can't really say what you want to say. But it is what it is, man. A filthy dreamer, man, as the scripture called it. Shit is crazy. We all have masculine and feminine energy. No, we don't. All right. Men are taught the feminine energy. We don't have that, man. We're not we're not we're not uh, 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 feminine when you're masculine. All right. And when you're feminine, you're not supposed to be masculine. You know, it's a whole reason why the lord made man and woman is to repropriate to bring forth life you know he made a man to be a man that's why a man's chest bulk bulk out the way it do the way a woman's chest where you know her breasts show forth you know it shows her, her her feminine side it shows you that she's a woman that's the balance there's a balance in the earth and esau is destroying the balance okay that's why you people don't realize that you when you promote that that type of lifestyle you're promoting genocide on your own race. Bunch of stupid people don't understand, man. You know what? You don't care because you want to have part. You want to party and have fun, man. Well, party and have fun in the lake of fire, man. When the Lord uh, bring those thermonuclear missiles and blow that fire upon this land, have fun then in that party because there's a there's a great party that's. <laughs> Hey, the Lord is gonna throw a great. He gonna throw a. He gonna throw one of the biggest parties that the world has ever seen <laughs> he gonna throw a big party and guess what the two-thirds are invited <laughs> i don't want to be invited to that party you know i'm gonna stay home on, on that one <laughs> may the lord come rescue me before he throw that party because whoo it's over man so you know with that want to give all praise to you how about you shy by shimra I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect. Shalom.